Tell us, Alina, what more did Mr. Lighthizer have to say? Well, he said that there have been significant purchases of U.S. goods over the past few weeks, adding that on Monday and Tuesday of this week, China had actually bought $185 million worth of U.S. soybeans. So that positive commentary is counter to our reporting, actually, that the Chinese government had told major state-run agricultural companies to pause purchases of some U.S. farm goods, including soybeans and pork. That's as Beijing evaluates the ongoing tensions with the U.S. over Hong Kong. So despite all of these tensions, we are getting some positive commentary from Lighthizer. And he also added that the pandemic will change the trading relationship between the U.S. and China, India, and other countries as the administration in the U.S. tries to reshore its supply chains particularly in the medical space. He said that in a future crisis, the U.S. needs to be able to manufacture at home all of the things that they need. He said, quote, we need a policy, be it subsidies or tariffs or whatever it takes. We have to be have an industrial policy so we never find ourselves in this position again.